Hi, good morning. My name is Lorna. Let's do some balances. Right, balances scare people because they think I can't balance. What you need to balance is your glasses on. Let me get my glasses. Do people not wear glasses so much anymore? I feel like I'm the only one in yoga classes who has to put their glasses on. Right, you need to balance because you need to look at things and, and, and be connected, right? And if our head's all over the place, it is not happening. So plant one foot down, plant one foot down, really put some circles in the hip. I'd like you to find a spot on the floor. I've got a weed in front of me here that I'm going to look at. And I'm, we want to bring the knee, the heel, let's bring the heel to above the knee. So you can go, you can actually go point one. There's first option. Chair on no or chair. I'm using the chair just to show you that our brain has got to know what it's doing. Then it gets better at it and it remembers, okay? So the movement here is in the hip. So you have option one, option two, or you can get a hold of it and go into option three, which is the higher one. Okay, so you choose, you decide what's right for you. Option one, option two, they obviously are a little bit harder as you go. Just to experiment, like use the chair. If you always think, oh, I really want to do that one, right? Just do it, but use the chair so you can start to feel it. The movement is the foot is pushing into the leg and the leg's pushing into the foot. So brain away from thinking about everything you've got to do and the hips moving out. Belly button pulls in. I'll come back to the second spot here. Okay. Right, the balance bit. So you can stay here, it's fine. You can take your hand here, we can take that up. <sighs> okay, right. If we're gonna try it without the chair, we need something called a drishti point. So we need to pull our belly button in, pelvic floor up. Let's see if we can do this. <sighs> Hands together. Find a random thing. <sighs> Awareness of the soles of the feet to always above the knee or above the ankle joint. Your choice, you can take the arms up. <sighs> Together. <sighs> you can adjust when you're in, in there. I'm, I want to go a little higher. Lengthen the spine. It feels more stable. Release. If you can breathe, it'll help. Okay. Other side, move the chair. Whoop. Me and the wire. Okay, plant the foot down. Also, if you might be better on the floor, the grass, right? I'm going to do it on the grass. Remember, option one, option two, or option three. If you like and when you're ready, use the chair. If you always. You know, people think, oh, I can't do that. You know, go up to the higher one if you can, but use the chair. Feel it, feel the heel pushing the leg, the leg and the heel. <sighs> Find that starey spot, hands to the heart. Stay there. Or do whatever you like with your arms. You might take them up and out. <sighs> I couldn't do this without my glasses on a revelation it's quite pretty simple really if you can't see the floor <sighs> in hot yoga or where rooms are dark you're going to struggle to balance if you've got a lot of stuff bouncing around in your head a lot of monkeys on your shoulder going basically giving you anxiety the, the balance isn't happening okay breathe <sighs> release let go well done okay just coming into the spine now coming down coming into what we call pose of the child, but wide knee. Okay. Coming up, gaze up, gaze, pull the chin in. So this is sort of your straightforward vanilla cat cow. Cat? Oh no, that must be cow. And that's cat. Okay. But actually let's put some movement into it. So you're gonna go over from one side, to the other side. It's a bit more interesting. Less vanilla. Vanilla's good though. I do like vanilla. Okay, I might go to the other side. But let's try this. We're going to come down. Pose of the child. Roll the spine up. Come forward a bit. Exhale down. Do that again. Roll the spine up. 
I'm going to come forward, squeeze my face like the dogs do. That's the dog, cat, dog. It's all getting a bit confusing. Arch the spine, roll it down. <sighs> if you like, next time. So your two hands are flat. Take one leg out to the side, open it up. Open it up, scoop it down. <sighs> Don't let the hand touch the floor coming up, if you like. And when you're ready, and sweep that through. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, let's do that on the other side. Bring the other foot out to wherever it wants to go. And you can sit back into that, lengthening the hamstring. And let's open that out to take the... So the foot that's sticking out to the side, that arm's going to come up. Exhale. Inhale up. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Great. Back under all fours, rolling the spine again. Chin up, roll it down. Really bring that fluidity into the spine. Come forward. This time when you come forward, I'm going to ask you to take one foot back, the other foot back, so you're in plank. Belly button pulls in. Inhale. Exhale. Coming into a dog head down. Walk that out. And bring one foot into the middle, the other foot take it up. You might want to let it kick back. And bring the knee forward, down wherever it's going. Sometimes it's there, not today. I've gone off piste, I'm on the, I'm on the grass. Okay, so you can choose to melt down here if you like. If you have no energy. You choose, you can go out to the side, you might even send your brain into your back foot. You might even put one hand at the front, back foot up. And can you get a hold of that back foot? You can always put blocks under the hips. Okay, release back into dog head down. Walk it out, let's put the other foot up. If we can remember which one. Sweep the knee forward. And so, okay, so your option is you can either just fold here or hips hold tension, trauma, everything. Okay, so just be mindful here. Don't try and snap anything too, too much. If it's not feeling authentic, back away from it. Or if you like, if you have more energy, let's notice as one side different to the other. It always is. See, this leg's gone in a different place. Brain into that back foot. Can I take it up? Yep. Can I take it back? Can I get a hold of it from either the inside or the outside? I'm going inside. Breathe. It might hurt. And take that down back into your dog head down. And release down to all fours. A vanilla cat. Cow, cow, cat. That's the cow then. That's the cat. I watch the spine. Come down in the pose of the child. Release. Take one hand over the other side. Walk it back. Whether you're on the grass, the carpet, the wood, a soggy yoga mat. I'd avoid the soggy yoga mat, you'll slip. Slowly coming back up. Gently twist hand to one side. I'm getting a hold of my toes. Inhale, lengthen the spine, twist. And let's go on the other side. Enjoy your twists. Coming back to neutral, just taking a moment here to notice what do you need now to stay well today? See you next time. Have a great day. Go well. <laughs>